We continue our Fraud Fighters monthly segment. We talk about scams, frauds that are out there, and how you can fight them. Joining us this morning, as always, is Jamie Harding with AARP Alabama. So weight loss can also be tied into losing money if it's a scam. We talk about what to watch for in weight loss scams. How do they work? The number one health care scam reported to the Federal Trade Commission, about $70 billion a year are spent is spent in, in the United States on weight loss products and programs. So obviously, anytime there's that much money in, in play, scammers want to get their share of it. So there are a number of different ways that they uh, try to uh, create these crimes. And so one of the one of the things we want people to look out for are things on social media, uh, ads on social media, especially uh, for fake products or for products that may have reality TV stars promoting them. Uh, and they lead to links that may look like real magazine stories or something that looks legitimate. Um, and so we want people to be aware that those things can be easily faked. What are some other indicators of weight loss scams or, or key words that people need to look out for? Well, especially look out for any products like pills or things like that where they claim that they're natural or herbal because that doesn't necessarily mean that they're safe. Uh, there are plenty of things that grow in nature that are not safe for us and that also can interact with medications you may be taking for some other health condition. So please don't just assume that anything that's labeled natural is safe for you to consume. Uh, the other thing we want people to be aware of is that a lot of diet programs will offer you a free trial to uh, maybe two weeks or, or a month and then automatically start charging your credit card. So check the fine print on anything like that before you sign up so that you know exactly how and when you can cancel if you decide this just isn't for you. And also just be aware of anything that sounds too good to be true. Uh, there's no diet that will effectively let you eat everything you want and lose weight very quickly. So anything that sounds too good to be true, just assume that it is, which is a really good rule to live by in general. People still want to lose weight and feel better. So where do people start rather than getting tripped up in a weight loss scam? A really good place to start is to talk to your own doctor and maybe get a referral to a dietitian, somebody that's credentialed in this area in nutrition, and to just rely on, on sources that you know are very reliable and safe. This is really, really important. Uh, you know, if you, a lot of folks have maybe put on some pounds during the pandemic. We, we hear a lot of talk about COVID uh, quarantine pounds and, and that sort of thing. So, we know it with swimsuit season coming, beach season coming, a lot of folks are, are wanting to lose weight, but we want you to do it safely and in a way that won't harm your health. 